We're currently standing in the middle of what will be the new atrium for Birmingham New Street. This is one of the main focal points for the design. The main purpose of this structure is to bring light into what was a dark environment. It will be one of the main focal points for the new development. What we're actually undertaking at the moment is the transfer of the concrete beams which span both sides of the atrium. We're actually cutting those beams in half while suspending the concrete from the steel. An incredibly challenging piece of engineering. The scope of the works is basically to refurbish every platform. We're extending the concourse by about six times in size. We're completely redeveloping the shopping centre above the concourse, rebranded as Grand Central Shopping Centre. We've built a new John Lewis flagship store on the south side of the project. The whole purpose of the project is about the regeneration of the south side of the city. The actual station itself is right in the heart of the city, but the station actually cuts the city in half. So to the north of the station, we have the financial districts, the town hall, the cathedral, quite an affluent well-to-do area. On the other side of the station, to the south side, exactly the opposite is to be said. And that's because the station acts as a block to growth across the city, and the regeneration of the station is seen as the, the catalyst for investment into the south side of the city. Well, the load transfer is actually in two stages. The steelwork gets erected on temporary trestles. Once it's all welded up and all the welds are tested, you can then take away the temporary works, which means that the steelwork then is under its own load, it settles on its own bearings, and the first stage is transferred into the existing structure. This coming weekend we're doing phase two of the load transfer. We basically have to do strategic cuts of the beam, support it on its own jacks, and then jack that structure into the underside of the box girder. The actual load transfer itself will take approximately uh, eight hours. Once that work's complete, that then enables us to commence the demolition works. Total demolition area is roughly the size of Wembley football pitch. The project itself has been fully modelled for scenario planning, planning for health and safety and for delivery. And that's been quite invaluable in terms of the process we've gone through. It's taken approximately six months to get to where we are today. I'm from Birmingham originally, so I know how important this project is to, to the people of Birmingham. The whole redevelopment will just lift the whole feel of the station. I think it'll bring natural light in, it'll be airy, it'll feel fresh, it'll feel modern, and I think it'll rival any station in the UK. The impact of the structure itself will be quite phenomenal when it's finished. It will transform Birmingham completely and there'll be a whole host of development on the back of this. There's lots of different elements, lots of different clients, lots of different stakeholders, but ultimately we have to bring all of that together as, as one project. MACE and the Network Rail team working alongside of all of our contracting partners has been tremendous here. The collaboration that comes through to approach such an engineering challenge as this has been fantastic. The load transfer has finished and it's been a complete success and it fills me with confidence that we'll go forward and we'll complete this project, it'll be the success that they all deserve.